Welcome back to Fulver's Let's Play Minecraft. We are playing Sevtek today. This will be episode two. We are going to be continuing on with the basic basics of age. Well, age tutorial, actually. Not even that far. Uh, we are going to hopefully get an atlas map, create a fluid bladder, create the grill, and maybe get some food going. So the stone grill requires three stone and three rocks. Let's go make some of those. All right, there's the three stone, there's the three rocks. Let's put these away and oop. And we will make this grill. Sweet. Hot grill to make a new flame. Actually, we're going to do two of those. We're going to make two spots. I'm going to use that grill that I made the other day and sorry, fire pit that I made the other day. I hadn't done it yet because it kind of just seemed like a waste of time, but it might actually be useful. So let's try putting it there and let's see if that works for what I need it for. Take the charcoal, throw that down. Light it up. And grab this grill. Now I'm sure that I can put stuff there. I'm not sure if it's as useful as a grill. I really like the grill and you'll see why. Let's go hunt some animals. Alright. <laughs> There's a bear here. Uh... I don't know if I should stay next to it, or probably shouldn't. I should probably give it a little bit of space. Sugar cane, nice. All right, well, that wasn't quite as many animals as I was hoping for, but um, a little bit still helps, I guess. Hey, look at this, look at this guy, trumpet, trumpet skeleton. Here we go. Ooh, where did he drop? Creeper oyster. Can't do anything with it, so I think it's just a rare drop. So the next step I want to do is, I guess we'll make a work blade. I want to do this one, um, just because I want credit for it. We're going to do this work blade one first. If you want to work, you'll need a work blade. Among many other uses, you may use it to break leaves and rushes quickly. All right, let's do that. What do I need for a work blade? Let's see. Two sticks, uh, cordage, and flake flint. I already have those. That should be pretty easy. There you go. Flint work blade. Now that should actually uh, become pretty useful. Right now, though, we're going to just throw it into the storage. Now, the thing that I really want is the antique atlas. Trade for an antique atlas map from a cartographer or librarian villager. Now, the villagers are over there. If I can find one, it will be feathers and ink sacks. Depending on which villager it is, it is a varying amount, so I need to go collect some ink sacks. I'm honestly not seeing any squid. Fisherman. Fletcher. Fletcher. Oh, I just heard a zombie. Farmer. Is that a squid? No, that's not a squid. Dang. No, officially I would say that I'm not actually good at hunting the creepers. You, shepherd. Ooh, shepherd. Um Well, I mean I can I could get a lead. Toolsmith. Work blade chisel. Farmer, toolsmith. Hey, I found cows. Look at this beautiful cow right here. No, I'm just kidding. It's a horse. I know it's a horse. Look at this beautiful cow. Ugh. All right, all we got to find is a good villager that has a map. And I'm kind of starting to think that is not going to be in this town. This is where I died. <laughs> uh, I went for this villager and he tricked me. I fell. Lost a couple of hearts. All right, I have been searching this village for 
uh, probably about 10 minutes now, just walking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying to explore it, trying to find any villagers that might have any valuable trades. And it sounds like they're all shepherds and fletchers and people that overall just don't have anything valuable to me. Um, so I am going to leave it. Back to my base, drop off some stuff, and then head out trying to find a normal village again. Well, I mean, I don't want to say that was useless, but it was kind of useless. And I'm still not finding any squids. Kind of wondering if I just wait out here in the ocean long enough, will I find some? Come on, squid, where are you at? That is a Shogoth layer. So if you get close, uh, Shogoths will start spawning. And once they start spawning, they kind of take uh, a lot of damage, and they do a lot of damage, and they can break blocks, and overall, they're just not very pleasant. I don't think I need to fight them anytime soon. I'm going to, but not right now. Right now, I'm on a mission. I need to find squid. I found pigs. Ooh. A fish. Hopefully if we kill the fish, then uh, <laughs> squid will spawn. Oh man, this is kind of sad. I'm not sure if hunting these fish are even doing anything. Alright, squid, here we go. I'm not sure how many I need. I think the highest I've ever seen it is like 10. So, I, it might have been less than 10. I know it's less than 10. All right, how many do we get? We got 11. And we just got to go find a village. Let's see if there's a good villager over here. Oh yeah, here we go. This guy with the white coat. Librarian. Exactly what I need. Well, I can only afford one. So as long as I don't die, <laughs> we should be good. Next step, we'll do uh, grindstone. Oh, hello, creeper. Oh, hello, creepers. That take oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what oh! <sighs> Alright, I'll take that with the grand humility, I guess. Crafting rock. There we go. There's the grindstone. Don't really know what we're gonna use it for right now, but we have it. So there's that one. Next step, uh, the water strainer. Oh, I was gonna make a spear too. Let's make a spear. Craft it. Spear. Super easy crafting. Should be good. I don't... Did you know you can throw the spear? Simply use it like you would a bowl. Deals plus 10 damage to mobs smaller than a block. All right, I don't like the spear, so I'm just going to throw it in there. I don't ever plan to use it. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is the water strainer, I think. Oh my gosh. I forgot that, that was human achievement. On that one, right there. I also need bark. Same thing. Okay, flint work blade. Take your oak wood straight from the tree. But with work blade, you get oak bark. Now, when you do that, you get these stripped logs. They work exactly like normal wood, except for they don't stack. They also look a little bit different too. They just kind of look like they are missing the bark right there. See that? That will make our MK2. Now, the difference between the MK1 and the MK2 is that this actually has four slots in it, and the slots are part of, like, are inside of it. The MK1 doesn't have slots inside of it, it's all one. So sometimes the mods don't uh, respond to the MK1. Sometimes they respond to the MK2 better. You just go here. Uh, you actually don't, you want to put it in the water, but you don't want to put it with it just one block. You want it to be two blocks. So the second block here is where you want to put it. Just like that, and then that second block above it is that is for the strainer slot, and you'll see that in a second. Let me go make one of those. So you can make any one of these strainers. Um, the fisherman strainer basically just gets you fish. The survivalist strainer gets you like wood, 
a little bit of stone and clay. The dense survivalist strainer also gets you shark tooth and ink sacks. Both of those could potentially be very valuable. Uh, sugar cane, probably valuable too, depending on what you need it for. I've already found sugar cane, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Ink sacks, I kind of need for more atlas maps and shark teeth. I'll eventually need for this flame grilled whopper, which uh, is right there. Flame grilled goodness, a hopper that moves items and keeps blocks above it hot. So we will need this dense one. This dense one needs a dense net. Dense net needs just a bunch of string. Pretty simple, I already have the string. Them both into, plop it in. And then over time, that net will catch things and they will end up in here using that 120 uses. You know, I'm starting to hear a lot of bad guys. I think I'm gonna make more torches. So let's do that real quick. So the next one I'm probably gonna do, find salt in dry biomes or riverbeds. Ah, that's pretty easy. Uh, bladder than nothing, no buckets, use a fluid bladder to craft with. That one. That one's probably the next one we're going to do. Uh, fluid bladder, two brown dyes, an ink sack, and three plant twines. Pretty simple. Is that a squid? Was that a Oh, it's disappeared now. <laughs> oh, they're just taunting me. Oh, the amount of time that it took me to find the squid before. And now they're just throwing one out there just to di make it disappear. Crafting rock. Crafting rock breaks. And bladder than nothing. Fluid bladder done. That's another tool down. Uh, craft a primal core wooden barrel to hold the liquids and acquire leather. <laughs> yeah. Craft up a barrel. There we go. Easy peasy. Done. We got a barrel. We're going to just throw this down here. Yeah. Great. We have that one. The next step is acquire leather. That's a long process. Seek out a darklands biome to continue your journey. Use a nature's compass to locate the nearest biome. Nature's compass is saplings, logs, flaked bone. Nature's compass. All right. Nature's compass. We'll right click that. And then you can choose which one. I'm just going to choose dark sludge plains. I don't remember sludge plains clearing ever being a thing before. Uh, top block is compacted mud, though. That would actually be really useful when I start collecting mud. Wow. Okay, yeah, no, we're just going to put Darklands. Double-click. And then it starts pointing in the right direction. If you don't double-click, it just randomly turns and stuff. Uh, it says it's 1,573 blocks away. Now, unless you're insanely lucky, it will always be 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 blocks away. Just expect that. It's a long trip. Uh, pack for it. So... Considering that, I'm going to end the episode today. Thank you for watching. I hope to catch you next time on episode 3 of Subdeck. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.